what is up? My name is Megan. If you are new here and if you are not, welcome back to the channel and this week's reading vlog. Today is Monday, the 27th of March. It is the week where we head into a new month. Have I made good progress with any of my March TBR? <laughs> Absolutely not. Also, I tried to vlog last week because I was getting my graduation pictures done. It was my birthday and I was like super excited to share all of that with you guys. It ended up being a terrible week. My birthday, not really it. Essentially, I injured my back and I've been in significant pain ever since. I have chronic back pain now, like honestly. Uh, if you've been following me for a couple of years, you would know my health <laughs> does not like to cooperate with me. So I spent my birthday taking a four hour nap with a heating pad and wanting to cry all day. I did get my graduation pictures. Um, if I find a way to sh like hide where I go to school, I might show you guys, but reading plans for the week. We are heading into a new month, as I said, so we will be incorporating parts of the new TBR within the week, as well as trying to finish off books from legitimately February. So on the docket this week, I am still listening to the audiobook for Listen to Your Heart by Casey West. Again, I say this every video. If you are new here, this is my all-time favorite book. I may have reread it like seven times at this point. Never get bored of it, whether that's physically or the audiobook. Highly recommend the audio for this. Um, I'm in a period of high stress. I just started my new job, which, by the way, went great. I had a lot of fun and I wasn't too anxious. Again, if you are new here, my name is Megan. I am a social work student. I graduate with my bachelor's in April. Uh, as of now, I have a job as an educator on a psych ward. Uh, mental health with adults is new to me, but I'm really enjoying the journey so far. So there you go, you're all caught up. So I'm using this as a coping mechanism to deal with all the stress in my life. Um, is it helping? Who knows? I'm still really enjoying this though. Immediate five stars, like I just put that in my ears and I'm like, I am home. Love that for me. I am also, I'll put a picture up here because I'm too lazy, trying to finish the first book in the Fireborn series because the second book is on my doorstep. We're gonna unbox that together later. But it is here and it's on the, I was gonna say March TBR. It's on the April TBR. I might take a break and read a little bit of something else in between. But we need to finish Fireborn. I'm considering getting the audio for it. Not that I'm not loving it, it's just I really need to speed up the process. This is absolutely ridiculous. And I'm also still reading In a Jam, which I think this is something I want to like power through this weekend. That's the plan so that after that I can start on Mile High, which is another romance which is on my TBR. So the reading for now kind of resemble what it has in the past week, so I'll keep giving you guys my thoughts and feelings. I also have a little bit of a birthday haul and stuff that I got for my library um, and some more plants that I want to show you guys later in this haul, but I just wanted to introduce it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the b-roll that I tried to film last week uh, of me trying to get to the place to get my graduation photos, and I don't know what else was in there, but I hope you enjoyed and... I hope you stick around for this one. Of my birthday 
it's been basically a month since the last time I updated you guys. And let me preface this by saying that was not the original plan. But I have plenty of life updates for you guys. And I think this is going to be like the major part of this vlog. I kind of want to get these out for you. All of these updates so that we can kind of start fresh next week. So, as I said in the last clip, I had all the best intentions of reading a lot of books to finally catch up on my reading. But I think life disagreed with that plan and it made it very clear. So as I said, near my birthday, uh, basically I got injured and I spent my birthday alone sleeping off my injury. Uh, after that, um, you know, I felt kind of off for like two weeks. I started my new job and my new job has been both very rewarding but also very chaotic and sometimes very dangerous. Uh, I work on a psych ward and the kind of batch of patients we currently have is truly something like I'm learning a lot and a lot of them are wonderful but some of them um, are hard to deal with for someone who's just starting out in the mental health field uh, but I love all of my patients it's just it drained a lot of energy uh, and then I got robbed um, I know I made a community post on this but I wanted to address it because it's something that's been taking up a lot of my energy and up like it, it's been impacting my life a lot basically we got robbed for the entirety of our garage I'm not going to go into specifics because there's a lot of ongoing things but they robbed for like a lot of money and they were also waiting for us with a baseball bat so if I would have entered my garage who knows if I would still be here so I'm grateful that they only left with mater material things I cannot talk but unfortunately um, it has definitely put a damper on the mood for the past like two weeks we've been in contact with the authorities and insurance and all of these things and there's been a lot of ongoing drama like drama with that and also some ongoing trauma um not being able to sleep well <sighs> my partner is also kind of struggling with it so it's <laughs> life is testing me so that was a big thing that happened to me recently and i'm slowly getting over it like it is what it is at this point but um not the best vibes so keep positive thoughts for me because we're still in the process of doing all those things uh then we had an ice storm and luckily enough i live near a hospital and so i was able to keep power but basically we were like the community itself was out with was without power for several days uh during Easter weekend and that was also draining because everybody was going crazy getting gas and like we were having people that had like their basement flood and it was a whole thing and and now after all of that I am graduating so tomorrow is my last day of my internship I have one more assignment to do and then I'm done my bachelor's degree of social work. And so I get two weeks off and then I start work full time. So amidst all of these very chaotic things, I have been trying to survive school, my stage, and everything that's come with it. All of my responsibilities, which have been increasing as time has been going on, but uh, like the life stressors have as well so that's why I've been MIA for literally like the past month at this point but I wanted to like give you guys all of these updates in a vlog and just show you the end of my week as I'm graduating um so I'm sorry if you don't care about my life you probably won't want to watch this vlog but for those of you who do and I know some of you do which thank you for being kind humans 
Um, that's what I've been up to. That's kind of all the shit show that has gone down in the past month. Um, so I am tired. I am very, very tired. I am sick and tired. And I just am looking forward to Sunday, 4 p.m. when I'm done work for the weekend where I can just celebrate the fact that I'm done. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, I'm feeling very both relieved and very upset at the fact that I'm finishing my degree because I'm not currently moving on to like, I was doing my undergraduate, I'm not moving on to a graduate degree as of now. I might next year, I'm not really sure, but just school coming to a close is something that's very difficult for me because I've always put a lot of pride and work into my school and it's also given me the opportunity to meet some amazing people like at my internship. I love my staff supervisor and it, it makes me very emotional to know that I'm not gonna see her again after tomorrow and the fact that I'm kind of losing my identity as a student is something I'm very much struggling with and everybody's like oh you must be so happy to like be done your degree and moving on and as much as that is true and as much as I'm like very much looking forward to moving on with my professional life leaving behind that part of me is very difficult. I love to study. I love social work. I love the theories. I love learning new things. I love being accompanied within that journey and I loved my stage. Um, so I'm feeling all the feels. I'm feeling very anxious because I don't know what I'm doing after. Like I have my job for now but I'm not sure I see myself doing that for the rest of my life or even for like the next year so I'm trying to figure out what it is I want to do um, and it's very hard because I really want to do therapy as a social worker you do some but not exclusively so I'm trying to find what kind of um, clientele is going to be the best fit and where I see myself which can be very difficult I'm also um, I live in a very French area and it's hard to be like a social worker in French when I've learned to document and do most things in English. So it's a whole thing, but overall I'm very proud of myself for getting this far. Um, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys probably more when I'm up in my fields tomorrow. We're gonna have like a little pizza party for the end of our stage for me and my colleague who is also finishing tomorrow. But those are the life updates. Uh, I hope you guys are having a better time than I am and have I finished a single book? No. Have I hauled some books? Yes. So let me show you so we can at least have some bookish content in this vlog. Okay so there's a couple of books here um and I'm not even going to justify this. It's all Facebook marketplace money from selling the books from all my unhauls if you haven't seen them um and when I'm stressed, I want new books. I need therapy, I'm fully aware of that, but moving on. The first book on my stack is this gorgeous book. Like, look at this book. It is The Wrong Mr. Right by Stephanie Archer. It's a spicy romantic comedy, it's a dual perspective novel, and it's fake dating and it has all the summer vibes. I'm very excited. This is the second book in a companion series, but you don't need to read them in order. This one sounds most appealing to me. If I like it, I might go back and read the others, but I wanted to start with this one. Might keep it for my trip in June, might read it before. Who knows? The next book I have is The Forever Formula by Kendall Ryan. This is a tiny, tiny book, and the font in this is ridiculously big. So I have plans for a 24-hour readathon next week while I'm on vacation. This could be a good contender. Again, dual perspective, uh, small town, I think it's like Grumpy Sunshine, don't quote me on that. I like Kendall Ryan. She's very digestible as an author. Then, this one, so, I'm so excited about this. It is 
Nick Blake and the Remarkables, The Manifestor Prophecy by Angie Thomas. This is her first foray into middle grade. It very much sounds like the vibes of like Amari and the Knight Brothers, all of those kinds of middle grades. And I heard about this at the Frenzy Presents event immediately immediately purchase this is the first i think it might be a trilogy i'm not sure but it's a series that i know of and i am incredibly excited for this so yeah i'm truly in my middle grade era as well so your girl is extremely happy about that release I also have The Screaming Staircase by Jonathan Stroud. This is the first book in the Lockwood, Lockwood and Co. series. It is a middle grade series. Um, this hardcover was on heavy sale and I wanted to start the series. It is a Netflix series, uh, but I've heard a lot of great things about it. It's like a um, mystery series with some paranormal elements and like it's a classic. I feel like a lot of people have read and enjoyed this. So, I have it now. I might try to do like a middle grade vlog if any of you guys care. I don't know how much of my viewers read middle grade, so if you do, please let me know down below because I truly love middle grade. Middle grade and romance, iconic. And the last book I have is Coach by Debney Perry. This is a single dad football romance and second chance it's again dual perspective it sounds freaking amazing the author sure knows how to sell a book and i've seen so many reviews and tiktok videos about it and i was just so excited for another like single dad romance because i eat that crap up like it's birthday cake um i'm so excited and i've heard like only good things about this book so yeah I've hauled I've hauled some books and have I read a single page since the last time I to be fair I did buy the second uh, the first and second fireborn books via audio and I have listened to some more of listen to your heart by Casey West but the amount of times I've talked about that book on my channel is ridiculous so I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not gonna do that again, but I might listen to some more of that tonight and work on some uh, word search puzzles because I'm sad. Bye. friends I am in my car because it is 546 you really can't see that let me I don't know why this matters see 546 I am hiding my screen because there's a little baby on it and it's not mine so I'm not gonna show you guys but it is my last day today you guys I woke up as usual at like 4:40, got ready i drove for like 40 minutes and am now waiting at the bus stop for my bus that comes in like a few minutes so i wanted to like show you guys what my day looks like welcome to the car and this is what i look like at 5 a.m in the morning on my last day you guys when you know it's your last time waking up this early it truly makes it easier let me show you my view this is the bus stop there's like buses that go all around I don't know why you would care about that but I've decided to make like a last day in the life it's not gonna be a full day today but Enjoy. Good morning. Yeah. 
y'all you might hear some noise I'm sorry my neighbors are very loud we made it I officially just have to finish one assignment over the weekend and I'm done with my BSW I am very tired it's like 7 p.m. I want to take a bath I look crusty dusty but I just wanted to say it is done it is over with. I had my last day of stash. I went out for a drink with my colleague and then I came home. And it feels very, very good uh, to be done. It hasn't fully sunk in yet, so I don't really have any more updates on how I feel that I had yesterday. I'm just incredibly proud of myself, which is not a feeling I have often. So I'm going to rejoice in it, enjoy it, celebrate it, uh, how I don't really know yet but you guys I'm so proud of myself the last month as I've mentioned several times in this vlog has been incredibly difficult it just goes to show I'm more resilient than I think I am and I love that for me so I'm gonna stop the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed the b-roll of this morning uh, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of what going into downtown Montreal looks for me but there's a lot of people who commute and I commute during rush hours so I'm not just gonna whip out a camera you know what I mean but before you go and before I go, I wanted to show you guys two things. One, I'm just very excited for this. I got myself my 2023-2024 planner. It starts much later in the year, but because I don't know when I'm going to be back in the city, I wanted to grab my copy of my planner because these are like the hourly planners. They're made in Montreal and they sell out very quickly. It, it gets very hard to get a hold of them closer to when they start. They start in August, so I still have my one for that, but it's so cute. It has little turtles on them. Love that. But the real exciting thing, if you've been on my channel before, I'm not going to say more, but it's coming back, y'all. It's making a comeback. I finally got another game. It's coming back. I'm very excited and it should be coming back in a different form and for a different different event for its first round and I hope you guys are excited because I am very excited so that's it for this vlog filled with life updates a few book hauls I do have some more um, books that came in the mail from Waterstones that are special editions but you're gonna have to come back to my next vlog to see them or my book haul, whatever works for you. Thank you so much for watching and coming along that roller coaster of emotions with me and I will see you very soon with another video. Bye guys, happy reading.